I slept on the floor for seven days and the results were quite shocking. Now I'm not a great sleeper, but I'm always looking for ways to improve my sleep so I can wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. And my bed's just not doing that for me. I wake up and my muscles are too tight, my back is sore, and honestly, I'm just too comfortable. That's where the floor comes in. I've been seeing quite a lot of videos recently about how sleeping on the floor is actually better for you. From people saying how it has helped improve their posture and flexibility, increase their blood flow, make their muscles and bones more resilient, and just have them waking up feeling better. But is all that true? Well, I tested it out for myself to find out. The entire night, I felt like I was awake, like I was dreaming while still being conscious. I had no idea if I was actually awake or even what time it was. But I kept laying there, and as time went on, I found that I could actually control my dreams and actually think about things. And I did notice that I was awake for some parts of the night because I kept turning over to my different sides because my shoulders weren't used to that amount of pressure laying on it. But there was no distinction if I was asleep or awake. My perception of time when I sleep is very good. I don't use an alarm and I wake up every single day between 7.30 and 8 a.m. But today, I had no clue what time it was. So when I woke up today after all night of not knowing if I was awake or asleep during the night, I thought it was probably around 5.30, 6.30 a.m. based on the little light that I could see out the window. But when I went to check the time on my phone, I nearly jumped upwards in a panic. It was 9.15. I had slept in over an hour and a half. I quickly got up and got dressed to go on my run when I noticed the second shocking thing that happened. My body wasn't tight at all. I felt like I could have sprinted all out right out of bed without getting injured. My body felt primed and ready to move. My body didn't usually feel like this when I slept on my soft mattress where you need to like wake up your muscles and stretch out. I checked my sleeping app and it said I slept completely normal and with my body feeling this way, I felt like more motivated to get started with my work. Now, this is only the first night of trying it, so I can't say anything for sure, but if all my nights are like this and I feel like I did when I wake up, this might be my new thing. My bones hurt and I'm tired. This is one of the things that I heard takes a while to get used to, because like when you're laying on the floor, I only got this like thin mattress. like. My bones like are rubbing up against this wood floor super hard. Most people start out with like a thin mattress and then just work their way down to less where I'm just like hopping in. This sleeping bag is pretty much just a glorified blanket. And when you're laying on it for hours upon time, like it, it gets smushed down and it just feels like you're laying on the hardwood floor. And the sleeping positions that I sleep in might not be helping. Let me show you. For example, this is how I sleep most of the time. This puts a lot of pressure on my leg and also my arm because I don't have that soft mattress so I'm like cutting off circulation and it just gets like numb and uncomfortable. The other position that I sleep in is completely on my side which puts a lot of pressure on my hip and my shoulder because I'm usually like stacked right on top of each other. So switching between those positions was super uncomfortable last night and I didn't sleep very well. It didn't feel like the first night at all because instead of dreaming all I could think about was oh my gosh, I am so uncomfortable right now. And I checked my sleeping app and it said I was awake like a bunch of times during the night. So I knew I wasn't gonna have the best sleep. However though, I didn't sleep in this time. I woke up around my usual 7.30, 8 o'clock, but I was awake much earlier before that. And I was just trying everything to keep falling back asleep. But with how uncomfortable I was, it was impossible. As for my body being more limber and flexible, I'm not very flexible to begin with, but I definitely still woke up with like, my body and my muscles not feeling as tight as I usually do when I sleep on a mattress. Overall though, I'd consider that a normal bad night's sleep. Like I've had those on my mattress many of times where I feel like, man, I, I wanna take a nap in the middle of the day because like I just didn't sleep well at night, but we'll have to see how the rest of the nights go because the biggest challenge right now is I'm just uncomfortable. Like my shoulders and hip digging in, just I, I think about it and then that's all I can think about and I can't sleep. So, We'll have to see how the rest of the nights go. I actually slept pretty well during night three, but that might have been because of a few things. Yesterday, later in the day, I started getting a really bad headache, and I'm not sure if that was like from the lack of sleep or just something else, but 
it got me so tired that when I went to bed that night, it didn't matter how uncomfortable I was or anything. I was just out. So I'm not really sure if I'm really adapting to being able to sleep on the floor or if it was just that one night I was just so tired that it didn't even matter. But I did notice something else when I woke up. Right before I went on my run that my back just felt like I had better posture. Like it was just naturally in that position and it wanted to be in that position. And this was one of those benefits that I saw from sleeping on the floor is because those tiny muscles are getting used during the night to hold your back the way that it should be during the day and everything. So that way when the day comes, like I'm gonna be standing up nice and straight like I should. And not only is this better for us physically, but also mentally because I just feel like I have so much confidence in myself just from my posture being like this and I was ready to work. And as for somebody who sits at a computer like seven days a week, this is very important because a lot of times I'll be at my desk a little like hunched over or I'll be like laying back on the couch typing on my computer and my back posture just goes out the door. So seeing that my body wants to hold this position, I gotta give this one to sleeping on the floor over versus a bed. Last night was a pretty decent night of sleep. I had a lot of dreams like I did during the first night. I was still a little bit uncomfortable like I was during the second night, but this one was more of like an in-between of all of these where I still felt like I slept well, but I was still uncomfortable, so my body's adapting to it. I did wake up a little bit early. Like I was up at around like 5.36, but I felt rested at then. And that's the hard part. Like we're four days into this challenge and I honestly, there's benefits to both, sleeping on the floor and sleeping onto a bed. And I have no idea what one I'll choose after this. Like there's just something about sleeping on the ground that my body yearns for. Like it's calling out to me like, if you can just get used to sleeping on this ground, it'll be better for us physically, mentally, in every way. But then there's my bed and it's like, yeah, but we already get like good enough sleep on that bed. And with only three days left, I gotta decide what one I'm gonna choose, the bed or the floor. Yes, we have done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have conquered comfort on the floor. Now you may be asking yourself, Jordan, how did you conquer comfortness? I don't know, but I just did. See, last night and this morning while I was sleeping, I noticed that I didn't care about the position that I was in. It just wasn't uncomfortable anymore. My bones adapted to it. My hip bones, my shoulders, they're like, yeah, this is kind of normal. And I was able to get a great night's sleep. Like I checked my sleeping chart, that's a normal night's sleep. That's like, if I do that, yeah, that's 90% of my nights of good sleep. Does this mean that I've solved what one I'm gonna choose, the bed or the floor? No, not at all. Because while I do enjoy sleeping on the floor and the benefits that it gets to it, there is one thing that I know. There is lingering tiredness. But when it comes to the bed, I know that my body won't feel as good as it will when I wake up like I do sleeping on the floor. Because here's the thing, I like sleeping on the floor because it's not so comfortable. I don't like being in a position of total comfortness because in my mind, it means that I'm being lazy and, and not productive. So there's that aspect of that's what keeps drawing me to sleeping on the floor is like, when I wake up from sleeping on the floor, I don't think like, oh, I should stay in bed and keep sleeping. No, my body's like, yo, let's get up and get after it. I like that. See, sleep and I just don't really vibe. Like, there's this part of me that just feels like when I sleep, I'm just wasting time, but I understand that it is very important to get high quality sleep for when I'm awake and working and doing other things. So sleep and I have this kind of like weird relationship where we don't like each other, but we understand that we need each other. And this is where like sleeping on the floor, although it's maybe weird and pretty unappealing to some people, it might be beneficial for me and my goals. And I will stop at nothing to achieve my goals. So it might have to be like a compromise, but I'm, I'm not sure how to do that yet. Night number six was yet again, another normal night of sleeping. Whether I was sleeping on the ground or in my bed, I still got nice high quality sleep, waking up a little bit here and there, but that's all normal for me. But this test really comes down to which one of these will give me the edge. So today I went to go take a power nap on the couch and I noticed something. I'm a little uncomfortable in this position. Specifically in my like ab region where I felt like my spine was just like 
being shifted up. It's never been like that when I've taken a nap before on that couch. So I'm wondering if like my body is just getting so used to sleeping on the floor, like that amount of comfort isn't comfortable to it anymore. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I do think that sleeping on the floor has made me have better posture. And that when I took a nap on that couch, it actually forced me out of that good posture position. So that's why I feel so uncomfortable, but I'm not sure, I'll have to see. I haven't tested taking a nap while sleeping on the floor just because usually I don't really need a nap. I only, I really only take naps like if I'm really tired after a workout or on Sundays sometimes. So we still have some things to investigate, but I still don't know what one I'm leaning towards. Over the last seven days of sleeping on the floor, I've noticed quite a few changes with my body as well as my mind. What was once uncomfortable to lay on is now just as normal to me as a bed. My body and bones just feel different. They feel stronger, more awake, in the correct position, and more resilient. Like this, this is nothing to me now. It feels nice sitting and laying on this ground. My mindset wants to move more, to wake up and get the day going. But the decision to choose the bed or the floor came down to one specific area. So what one will I decide to go with? Both, but for now at least, the bed. And here's why. I do like all the benefits of sleeping on the floor, but there was one main problem affecting me. Lingering tiredness. Although my body felt great, I could tell my mind was tired and it was doing everything possible to make up for it. So I came to a compromise. I'll gradually work towards a thinner and thinner mattress so I can adapt to the quality of sleep that I need while still getting the benefits I had while sleeping on the floor. As of right now, I'll spend more time on the floor watching TV, working on my laptop, or eating food, so that way my body and bones still get that benefit. This is the compromise that I believe will have the best results for me. But should you sleep on the floor? Probably not. But I do recommend that you spend more time on the floor so that you get some of the benefits that I had while doing this. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.